Hello everyone, I am Sahara Saran, a research associate at iThrive. Today we are going to learn about what is inflammation. Today's topic for discussion are what is inflammation, what are types of inflammation and what are diagnostic markers for inflammation. Let's understand what is inflammation. It is your body's biological response to any kind of threat. This threat can could be in form of pathogenic infection or environmental toxins. So, inflammation can be defined as a process by which your body's immune cells protect you from foreign invaders. Moving towards the type of inflammation. On the basis of severity of inflammation, it is divided into two types, acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. Acute inflammation is an immediate response to variety of infection, allergens and toxins, which is of short period of time. While chronic inflammation, on the other hand, is usually long-standing one and could be the result of underlying chronic diseases. Now, let's talk about how inflammation manifests in and outside the body. On the basis of site of inflammation, it is divided into two types, external inflammation and internal inflammation. External inflammation is the consequence of burns, injury, cuts and wounds which can be visualized by redness and swelling. On the other hand, internal inflammation cannot be visualized but can be diagnosed using blood markers. Both acute and chronic inflammation can be the result of internal inflammation. Internal inflammation visually goes unnoticed because of no apparent signs and symptoms outside the body but can lead to variety of chronic diseases. As I mentioned, that internal inflammation can be diagnosed using markers. So let's study about it. There are greater amount of molecules known as biomarkers in the body when inflammation is present. The first and maybe the most important biomarker of inflammation is C-reactive protein or CRP. It is the protein of acute, as I mentioned, that internal inflammation can be diagnosed using biomarkers. So, let's get to know about it. There are variety of molecules known as biomarkers in our body when inflammation is present. The first and maybe the most important biomarker for inflammation is C-reactive protein which is also called as CRP. It is an acute phase biomarker which rises immediately in response to acute inflammation that is as a result of infection, toxins or allergens. It is always advisable to test for high sensitivity C-reactive protein or HSCRP because of its high accuracy. It can detect inflammation at its developing stage itself and there are rare chances of misdiagnosis. The another biomarker for inflammation is erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate is a blood test that tells you how fast your red blood cells or RBCs settles at the bottom of the test tube. When inflammation is present, your RBCs tends to stick to each other and settles down quickly. The third and last biomarker for inflammation is vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin with anti-inflammatory properties. 25 OH vitamin D that is total vitamin D is a best indicator for vitamin D status in your body and thereby a inflammation. Thank you. If you have any queries or questions, put them in comment section and subscribe our channel for more updates.